Abby Terry, owner of Abby's Pub and Grill in downtown Jersey City, sat down with Hudson County View to discuss his business crisis following Jersey City Chief Health Inspector Happy Boar pulling his food license on Super Bowl weekend. The interview started with Terry explaining the bar's business structure, specifically the separate corporate filings for the Pub and Grill, and his recollection of what happened on January 30th, 2015, the day his license was pulled. There is two addresses, 407 Mammoth Street and 409 Mammoth Street. So. When we formed this corporation, LAL, that owns Abbey's Pub, okay, uh, it was 407 Mammoth Street, which we have all the documentation to back it up. A year, year and a half later, when we opened the restaurant, which it was on the other side, it was a Mammoth barbecue trading at Abbey, Abbey's Pub, two separate corporations, two separate tax ID numbers, two separate taxes, two separate entities always been this was never a problem until this uh, past uh, January 30th so we come to find out the task force comes to us in about the, the, they were like in 100 days about three four months old they come the third time to our place there's places cross street all around they've never been there but our place we we feel the love this is the third time they're coming in so obviously there's a couple of people smoking hookah so immediately they held up the same happy boar that's been working as a health inspector for 22 years chief inspector for over 12 13 14 years comes in ah they can be smoking hookah what are you talking about well you know there is no smoking hookah i said no this has always been a hookah bar i, I wasn't here i mean the bartender marsha was here and uh, he goes to the kitchen and immediately he says oh you can't serve no more food he says okay why we can't serve food that is not in the nobody was smoking on a month barbecue side that's where the cook is being prepared okay there were people who were smoking on abby's pub which was on this side divided by two uh block walls all right and uh he goes now nah, uh, is my right i can pull your license i says because they called me and i was talking to him good no i said okay so on um, what what's my charges why are you pulling he goes under the clean air act so okay clean air act has nothing to do with the food it has nothing to do with my where my food is prepared it has nothing to do is there any health violation he, and he went around and he looked and he looked just like the fire department did just like the zoning the building guy everybody did there was you know there was a few things with fire violations that you know you spend enough time in every place you know it's an annual thing they make a few suggestions and you gotta abate it within certain days which is normal but there was no health violations okay Tari also spoke about the financial hardship he's incurred since his license was pulled everybody knows the hookah that's what a lot of people come here from the city from all around because we are a hookah bar. we've been a hookah bar so just that it about that's about 20 25 percent of our business the hookah okay that's number one the food is another like 25 30 percent of the business okay so we have lost that since january 30th with, within the exception of a couple of days that the uh, department of health told us is okay to open up because it was a misunderstanding now we understand we'll double cross even by them but that's something to get decided later. Financial, just on a Super Bowl weekend, because we take a lot of orders for to go, or you know, we had catering and stuff for parties. And the three days, I want to say we lost bit anywhere between fifteen to twenty thousand dollars in that three day span. And ever since then, you know, this continues and is like a bottomless pit. Harry also questioned why it took nearly a decade and over a year under the Philip administration for his license to be pulled for hookah smoking by Boer and whether the city's actions were legal. We were smoking hookah here pre-smoking pre times, okay? <coughs> 
We've been bringing Raidables to downtown Jersey City since 2004, right? Never a problem. Always, everybody loves it. This is the cheers of downtown. All of a sudden, we are not doing the right thing. By whose laws, we don't know. We pull up, they pull our food license for a smoking. Nowhere in the law, in the bylaws which I pulled from Jersey City, or the state says the health inspector can pull my food license because of the smoking, okay? Actually states, they have, to, after they issue a summon, which we didn't get uh, 11 days after the summons was issued because it was mailed five days after they were here. They send it to us. They have to give us 10 days to appear and in that hearing, they should determine if he should be able to pull my food license or not for a food violation. Nowhere in the state law or the municipal ordinance states that he can pull my food license. Now, 23 days later, head of health, corporation council, nobody knows why, how, meanwhile, we are suffering. The same health inspector, Happy Boar, is the original guy that came before I opened up to get my certificate of occupancy for this place to do my health inspection. Everything's okay. 11 years, everybody knows this is a hookah bar with him working for Jersey City Health Department. All of a sudden, now mind you, the law being in effect for nine years, since 2006, the Smoke Free Act, the Smoke the Free Air Act, been in effect since 2006. Happy Boar been the chief health inspector, according to him. He knew exactly what's going on. Took him nine years to come and issue a summon and pull my food license. On what basis? We have all the ordinances, we have all the state ordinances, nowhere in these laws, ordinances, or bylaws stating he has the right to pull our food license. Tari also questioned the Jersey City Make It Yours marketing campaign under Mayor Stephen Fulop and accused the city of deliberately sabotaging his business. Somebody in the city has some personal vendetta, okay, against me, which they don't even have enough honor to come and face me or tell me. So this is their way of breaking me down piece by piece. So I sell my place. Now, Mayor Fulop said his new motto is, make it your own right this is supposed to be the most diversified city in the country right so make it in his own how is the prerequisition is be one of mayor Phillips allies then we make a little guy that doesn't have the right last name break so we can foreclose because he doesn't make no money, so he can't pay his mortgages or whatever. So we can go buy it as a sale price. Make it your own, right? Is that the way you're making it your own? Finally, Tari spoke about the damage to his business, the families of his workers, and demanded Fulop make the situation right. They go on around and around and around. Meanwhile, they really don't care how many families they're hurting, how, how many of my cook's children, my bartenders, my other people, the people that work here, the people that clean here. How many people they're gonna hurt? Why? For what reason? So if Mayor Fulop really cared, the same way when he came here, when he wanted to run, he should come here and make this right. Because it's what they doing it against the law. If it's, this is not prejudice, I don't know what it is. And I gotta tell you, they're not gonna run this guy out of this town. This is my city. You guys came from outside. This is where I went to school. This is where I ate. This is where I make my living from. This is my city. Nobody gonna run me out by force. 
Jersey City spokesperson Jennifer Morrill declined to comment on this story. I'm Michael Shuren with Hudson County View, the eye of the community.